Hi, my love. I've been like on a self-improvement journey and to improve yourself, sometimes you have to look at some hard facts and it's never pretty because basically you have to come in tune with yourself, whether good or bad. You know, I didn't know that I was like that, but in order for you to grow and in order for you to change, you have to look on hard facts at times, you know. For you to become the butterfly that you're supposed to be you understand from a caterpillar to a butterfly so with self-improvement you have to forgive forgiveness comes when you're trying to improve yourself i'm sorry about that my phone is ringing i have no idea who it is but i'm not going to stop this recording the show must go on so i'm just going to try to be brief but anywho as I was saying that, you know, you have to forgive because if you love yourself, you have to forgive others. The Bible says love your neighbors as yourself, right? So your neighbors doesn't have to be somebody that is next door to you. Your neighbors is all over the world, you know, be your brother's keeper. And a lot of us are not like that, you know, a lot of us are easy to go into strife and malice and gossip and stuff like that because I was like that, you know, when you're improving yourself, you have to point out the good and the bad about yourself and the bad is like you know i wasn't like a person that i used to gossip but then i find myself like involved in a little gossip you know i'm not a gossiper like that but i indulge in it at times you know and you know i'm really proud of myself for saying that because the hard truth is hard to admit and i can't admit that and i don't want to be those because it's just like wasting your time but you have to forgive even if it's not to forgive the person because you really want to do it, but you have to forgive them for your own sanity. You got to do it. But you have to also want to forgive them because God said, if you don't forgive, I won't forgive you. It's just a fact. Sometimes we're praying about certain things and it doesn't come to us because we are holding on to grudges. We're holding on to baggages. And you're going to pray to God, God, I want this. God, I want that. When you can't do the things what he said, be your brother's keeper and forgive, so the Father in heaven will forgive you. So which God are you praying to when he said that you should forgive? Having people up keep you stagnant, it holds you back, it makes you feel bitter. Who want to feel bitter? When you see a person pass, and let's just say you have some disagreement with them, it's like your blood pressure rise, you know? Like something in you go off, like, you know, just the malice and the bitterness, it poisons your body. And nobody, I don't think anybody want to, live like that and it's good when you have some form of awakening in your life that listen i can't continue like this because forgiveness is sweet forgiving somebody that doesn't mean that you're gonna be you know like talking the way you used to talk you can forgive somebody and say hi and bye how are you you know keep it cordial you know just hello how are you if you see the person drop down god forbid you're not gonna pass them on the street no you understand because that means you didn't forgive them completely when you forgive somebody you're not gonna have that like animosity or when the person pass you or you see that person like you know like like hurt come back into your heart or you know bitterness or I can't stop and girl and everything you're keeping yourself back when that person probably don't even remember what they did to you so you gotta free yourself, you gotta free your mind, you gotta free your energy. And only the only way for you to do that is by looking into yourself and realize that, listen, you have done somebody wrong too. It might not be as bad as that person did to you, but wrong is wrong regardless. No sin is bigger than any sin. Unless you bless him against the Holy Spirit, but no sin is greater basically than any sin. So you might think, oh, because this person's a prostitute and you know you probably, you know, did something less than that mean you're better than them no you sin too you know what i'm trying to say so you have to free your mind you have to free your spirit in order to sometimes reach your destination because a lot of times we are the ones holding back ourselves with the negative thoughts and the way we think about people so i am trying to improve myself because i see certain things been happening into my life that are very very positive and when you free up your spirit positive things get to come in when your spirit is like closed or you know you block off everything into your life or you you're just like a closed-minded person you're you're closed with everything it's like like you're toxic nothing can come into your life so you have to let go and let the positive vibration flow and let god flow through you but you have to forgive people you have to forgive yourself it's a beautiful feeling when you forgive yourself and realize that listen my past is not supposed to define me my past is supposed to influence me to do better I am not my past. 
I'm not going to be a dweller. I'm going to be a person that's going to live into the now and at the end of the day be the best that I can be so people can start seeing it. And even if people can't see it, who cares? You're doing it for yourself, child. And if they don't want to get on the boat with you, well, good for them. They can't drown. I'm just saying. I'm just playing, okay? I don't wish that on anybody, but that's basically it. So I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And um, I said I didn't want this to be long. It's almost six minutes, so I'm gone. And no, the girls are real, um, child. Because a few people ask me, like, mm, I wonder how them I get so... Really? They're my child. I'm just settling into this body. All right? Mwah.